Well, hey everybody. This might be the one and only time I'll do something like this. The vlog, the travel vlog, talking to the camera by myself out on location. I'm here in Marin County. I'm in uh, Mount Tamalpais State Park and it is golden hour here as you can see. The sun's rising up over the bay behind me and you can see the Oakland Bay Bridge and there's Mount Tam in the background and it is just pretty spectacular. Uh, this is a special place. I, um, I first came to San Francisco in 95, 1995 for this Shoreline Dead Shows, what ended up being the last um, Grateful Dead Shows in California. I saw them play, I saw them encore with Broke Down Palace. Uh, they opened one of the shows with Alabama Getaway. I had seen the band in Alabama earlier in the spring tour. Um, they were, you know, it was 95, so it was what it was, but it wasn't, wasn't all bad, and at 19, it was uh, it's a very special memory that I, that I treasure, and I feel unbelievably fortunate to have experienced it. We had all the adventures and foibles that two young guys I was traveling with my friend Brian would have on the road. We blew a tire on the 101 driving north back into the city after one of the shows and changed the tire on the side of the highway. Um, two long hairs with uh, a sticker encrusted 80s sob that we were driving around in. Um, yeah. Anyhow, I'm out here uh, today because the intersection of just good fortune, free time, a point in my life where I can do some traveling and not worry too much about um, some financial restraints or other things. I, I got to see Dark Star Orchestra in uh, San Luis Obispo a couple nights ago. Slow, that's what the locals call it. Uh, at the Fremont Theater. Something else, man. They played a uh, 1990s 1990s show from Compton Terrace. They played my favorite 1990 song, uh, Valley Road, the, the Hornsby song. They did Maggie's Farm, and uh, Mr. Baracko did a very passable Vince Welnick, as well as comping uh, Bruce Hornsby's piano part and vocal stylings. It was really, it was really something else. We're living in this kind of panacea of uh, deadheadedness. And uh, I think it's important to not take it for granted. Uh, along those lines, I, I'm realizing that, you know, the story of the character in Estimated Prophet is the obsessive fan. I think of him as the Eric Bogosian character guy in the Grateful Dead movie who is bullshitting his way into the backstage with his pearl button shirt. Uh, he is working on Weir's house. <laughs> It's a totally believable story that he tells and he gets himself, talks his way into the door. And uh, I'm probably right where I'm standing, I, f four or five miles from that house. Weir lives around here somewhere in, in Mill Valley, I think, which is where I stayed last night in a really lovely Airbnb. Um, anyway, um, it's a different time and a different era here, but I, <laughs> the obsessive fan is what that song is about. They wrote it, um, obviously, uh, he and Barlow during the um, hiatus. It's on the Terrapin Station album from 1977, and it is about the obsessive deadhead. And if you're watching the channel and you've been following along here, there's a little bit of the me in that. <laughs> I mean, if we're talking about cable lengths, and um, ohm resistances and ohm taps and potentiometers on uh, tone stacks and fender amps and what was to spec and what wasn't. And, uh, you know, I'm here bending the knee in, Ma in Marin County. Yeah, there's a little obsessiveness. And uh, you know what, damn it, it's uh, not a bad thing. You gotta have a hobby in this life. Jerry says that himself in one of the great interviews. Uh, so yeah, that's my thoughts in California. I'm uh, headed over to Oakland today and then uh, back to the East Coast eventually. But uh, it's a little magic morning here in Marin County. There's nobody around me. Uh, I'm here in the state park and it is um, just something to see. 
Uh, and I just had a couple of thoughts. I was I took a flight up here from from slow yesterday into San Francisco, and uh, it just occurred to me the story of the estimated profit and the profit on the burning shore as I was watching the waves roll in on the Pacific on a really lovely flight on SkyWest Airlines uh, from slow to San Francisco, 26 minutes, 26,000 feet, just the right amount of time to collect yourself, collect your thoughts, kind of gut check what in the actual fuck am I doing here with this life? Um, and uh, is this the peak of the existence and is this the peak of what I can be doing? And um, yeah, that's what, that's what it reminded me of. Uh, my birthday is in a couple days and uh, I'm given to self-reflection sometimes, I guess. And I gotta tell you that Dark Star, there's Mount Tam right there. That's it, right there. Weir with his Mount Tamalpolis Chiefs football jersey uh, springs to mind. I mean, their stories and the stories of that band and the guys themselves as personalities and characters, whoever they were, um, it, they're, they're here, you know? It's, it, it's, um, this, is where, this is where a lot of that stuff went down. I was gonna drive on over to Stinson Beach this morning. It's just slightly too far for me to meet my, my timing obligations and get checked out of this Airbnb. Um, on time. Uh, so it's a little too far to drive today. But um, anyhow, that's really um, all I wanted to say was that maybe a little obsession is okay. The internet sort of leads you in that direction somewhat. And I'm not really ashamed of it. I've spent my life listening to the dead. I picked up the electric guitar because of Jerry Garcia. I taught myself the instrument. And it sort of led me here to this hilltop at 46 years old on a, a, a pretty brisk California morning. Uh, yeah, it's chilly, windy and chilly, but it is golden hour and good God, is it beautiful out here. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks a million for watching. Like I said, this is probably, this kind of turns my stomach a little bit to be standing out here, arms stretched out, uh, talking to a camera by myself, but um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to mark the occasion and um, thank you guys for riding along and uh, we'll see you again super duper soon. Thanks.